Hey, what's up guys? This is Yunus, and in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to use random number generator in C++. So the very first thing that you need to include to use a random number generator is a library called ctime. So hashtag include ctime. The very first thing that you're doing to use the random number generator, you need to seed the random number formula. So you do that by writing srand parentheses. Inside of the srand, you need to do time and parentheses null. So this is going to pull up a, the time from the clock. And it's going to be different every time. And it's going to put it inside of this formula. And it's going to generate a random number. It's not a real random number, but uh, it's really hard to guess what is it going to be. Because we don't even know what formula is it behind it. Well, at least I am. But moving on. So let's display a random number. So you might ask, okay, how can I generate a random number between, let's say, you want to generate a random number between 0 and 99. Well, to do that, you need to type rand modulus and 100. So if you do this, oh, and empty parentheses right after rand. So if you do this, it's going to generate a random number between 0 and 100. 0 and 99. So if we build and run this, it gave us 46. If we build and run this again, it's going to give us different number, 62. Okay, well, let's try um, random number between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. So if we run this, it's either going to give us 0 or 1. Well, Let's say you want to generate a random number between 1 and 2 instead of from 0 to 1. Well, you can just do plus 1. In this case, the number that is generated is going to be between 1 and 2 instead of from 0 to 1. Um, and that's pretty much it for the random numbers. You can include any range that you want. You can do 1,000 and it's going to generate a random number between 1,000. And this part you have to do it only once in all of your code and usually do it in your main right at the beginning and you don't have to write this every time when you want to generate a random number you write this only once and whenever you want to use the random number you do rand parentheses modulus and whatever range you want that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching